Let's talk about the old bird, or the old Dairy Queen in Champlain, New York. Well, my grandfather, George, was a cook here at Dairy Queen, I don't know, in the 70s or 60s or whatever. Uh, I don't know when this closed exactly, because, like, in a lot of locations back then, they didn't have paper. Well, they had papers, but there's no, like, archives and when these places open, close, whenever. Actually, I don't even know when this, probably, I would say, the 60s when the interstate came in, in the, in the, uh, late 60s. Late uh, mid '60s, late '60s, mid '60s, when the interstate came in, this probably was opened because like attract customers and stuff. I mean, there was other look, there was other um, little you know tasty freeze and and stuff like that. They were on other on like the Route Nine, which was the main uh, road until the interstate came in. So I mean, this wasn't the original you know like the original ice cream joint, uh, but uh, Dairy Queen was. Closed, I probably think in the 80s or late 70s or something, and it sat vacant for a while. And like I said, yeah, my grandfather George worked there. For, I don't know, back in the day, I would say. Um, he was a cook, and uh, this is the original Dairy Queen, and uh, this isn't the you know the actual location. This is just a reference. Um, Anyway, I don't know when Dairy Queen closed, but it was a lot of people knowing it now as the old Burger King, which the old Burger King was not was Burger King was not there for that long actually. Um, Burger King I think was there for even like probably five to six years, maybe even se maybe seven. It wasn't there for that long. It was uh, it wasn't there for that long because. There was another restaurant that was there prior in between Dairy Queen and Burger King. And here's the old logo that would have been on, you know, like, you know, on the front of the store. So this is just a little reference here, a little, little uh, logo of what the old Dairy Queen logo looked like. You can see it looks very different from the modern day DQ logo, which they try to fancy up. And it was there, it sat vacant until the 1990s when it became a restaurant out of Quebec called Steamy's. The guy from Quebec made his own restaurant here and he made it because a lot of people from northern New York, Vermont, would go up to Canada to go to their restaurants to try their hot dogs. It was called Quebec style hot dogs with a sauerkraut and other things like that. Kind of similar to our version of Michigan's here in northern part of New York. And Steamy's was there for quite a while, actually. Um, and then after Steamy's, um, it became a restaurant called um, uh, another uh, restaurant. It became, uh, hold on. It became McSweeney's. McSweeney's uh, took up the restaurant after Steamy's left, and Steamy's was there for a little bit. And this is the uh, this is a credit to uh, Flickr here. Uh, this is not my photo, but I'll just put this out that this isn't my photo, but um, it's credit to to Flickr. This is what the location looks like. You can see it, it resembles an old Burger King. It does not even resemble Steamy's or or Dairy Queen or whatever. And yeah, it was Ste it was McSweeney's for like a year or two, and then it became Burger King. And like I said, it was Burger King for probably six or seven, maybe seven years. And I remember I used to go there for breakfast because I wasn't alive when Steamy's, McSweeney's, or... McSweeney's is still in business, actually, in Plattsburgh, but they've tried a location here in Champlain, or not here in Champlain, but in Champlain, but they failed and uh, became Burger King after. I remember eating breakfasts at the Burger King up until it closed in 2002, so, yeah... And here's a final look at the old Dairy Queen logo. It started as Dairy Queen, and it still sits vacant to this day. Nothing has ever... There's always been talks about putting a Taco Bell slash KFC in there, but nothing has ever became into fruition since. So, this is talk about the old Champlain Dairy Queen. Thanks for watching.